advice Look, I'm about my pledge which I'm decked up on blue bills And I won't stop until the cash pit Look like fall leaves in the backfield Tell her out of my face if she coming with that boy Quick to save my peace, I'm so after school special She rainy but them jeans looking like paint I gotta bless it Let's talk a whole lot, know a damn well they really can't press us I notated it on leaflet, I'm really up a few levels with it Like way, way off the way from them, can't see me, you can't battle with us E and J in my Earl Grey hood brunched up With the cheese eggs and the dumb face, no stunner shade still turned up Then had it pop in on Friday, that's Avi Flower child from the sun rays, but I run fade, got a punch drunk My providence, they don't love us, they rather treat us like an animal They wonder why we on A Gave a shit, I'm off the cannabis Middle fingers in tandem, going tantrum Yelling f*** as well with a big smile, young phantom Hi mom, I'm on camera Coming live from the mud pit, we don't take post beef for granted I plan to keep it stress free, live and die young I leave it on the canvases, split up some with my battery rap Dread day like it's a holiday My sh** on dumb flame till the wheels kill I'm on road rage yeah. On dumb flame till the wheels fall I'm on road rage I've been on the run My third high open Been trying to kill emotion For the slow I've been on the run My third high open Yeah, yeah Hey, hey, f*** the ceiling I've been living out the moon roof with it I'm in tune with my senses Kill the tune with my sentence every time I've been in the mood, got a feeling What we doing, got a human, they ain't used to it We like me, to the pledge when I said it No caps on the butter till I see black And I still ride for it on a couple flats I've been down better, I was back Been slayed to a 9 to 5, now we booming, no stopping the digital trap Been slayed to a 9 to 5, now we booming, no stopping the digital trap I've been on the run My third high open Been trying to kill emotion For the slow Kill emotion, yeah, yeah. Life in the slums. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Tactical My Chaos God, One. Up, We're here man. with the Division Two Best PVE Gear Set Builds video. We're mobbing on the Polarity Event Stranded Tanker Mission Heroic. Two directives active, and we're running through these guys like it's regular NPCs with nothing. It's butter, bro. You know what I mean? You guys got to check out my video. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to the Chaos Crew. It's Tactical Chaos One Gaming on YouTube. I really appreciate you guys watching the video and supporting me. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And let's get into these build specs. Show you what we got going on. First off, before we get into the what we got going, I'm gonna show you guys my actual um, stats real quick. So we got 124% weapon damage. Or 124k weapon damage, 41 PVP, but this is more like a PVE build. 60% critical hit chance, 152 critical hit damage, and that's without the bonus. 70% headshot damage, 108% all weapon damage bonus. 108% all weapon damage bonus on Negotiator's Dilemma. With one point one point mil one point one mil armor, my bad, you guys. Dude, this build kills it. I'll show you what we got going on right now. We got the apartment with perfectly measured on it, which is the top half of the magazine has twenty percent rate of fire, minus twenty percent, twenty seven percent weapon damage. The bottom half of the magazine has minus twenty percent rate of fire and plus thirty three percent total weapon damage. So, perfectly measured is a beast. The apartment is an awesome SMG. You guys got to go to the dark zone to get it. And, you know, grind out the dark zone when they got SMG loot targeted. And then for my other weapon, I have the AKM with measured on it. Both of them have damage to target out of cover. For their uh, for the gear set, we have Negotiator Dilemma Mask, Gloves, Holster, and Knee Pads. So that way I'm not wasting any talents on the gear set. I'm still able to use my gear, uh, talents for my chest piece on my backpack. That's why I usually rock gear set only, non-talent gear set for the four pieces. Two pieces is uh, 15, or yeah, 15% critical hit chance, 
three pieces is 20% critical hit damage, and then when you got four pieces on, you get uh, negotiator, uh, hostile negotiations. Critical hits mark enemies for 20 seconds at the three marks total. When you critically hit marked enemy, all other enemies, uh, all other marked enemies take 60% of that damage dealt. Whenever a marked enemy dies, you gain 2% critical hit damage, stacking up to 20 times, which equals 40% critical hit damage. And when there's other marked enemies and you're killing one marked enemy, those other marked enemies are taking mad damage. And they usually die with it too because they already have some life missing. So it's just basically like killing three in one type build. Pretty dope. I'm liking it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. For my chest piece, I have mechanized infantry armor, Seska, with the gunslinger talent on it. Which, uh, swapping from this weapon increases total weapon damage by 20% for 5 seconds. This buff is lost if you swap within that, why the buff is active for 5 seconds. Yeah, what's cool about the gunslinger, yeah, it is only 5%, uh, 5 seconds weapon damage for 20, uh, 20% weapon damage for 5 seconds. My bad. I'm all, like, stuttering and shit back and forth trying to explain this. <laughs> anyway, yeah, gunslinger's an awesome talent, but it does go away really quick. So you want to make sure when you use the Gunslinger talent, you have two guns that you like a lot that are kind of equal to each other. So you're bouncing back and forth to guns that are almost equal. So you're not having like a, say exotics. Exotics, you usually run just the exotic because you got to build up those the talents on it, right? You got to build up the buff on those exotics. You don't want weapons that you have to build a buff up for Gunslinger talent. You want weapons that are automatically ready to go. That's why I have measured on both of my weapons so they're basically equal you know so i switch from one i empty one mag switch it into the other mag and it works well with the polarity event too as you guys seen on my last polarity event build video i had gunslinger on it and i've been messing around with the gunslinger and trying to figure out the best way to use it and what i figured out is the best way to use it is equal type weapons if you even have two of the same you can't rock the exact two talents on an smg or on the exact same SMG, like you can't use two apartments, but you can use perfectly measured on an SMG and then use another SMG that has measured, like a uh, MPX with just regular measured. You could do it like that. That's not completely equal, but it's close enough. Anyway, you guys get what I'm saying. Then we come over to the backpack. I have the Memento Exotic backpack with Kill Confirm talent on it. Enemies you kill will drop a trophy on death, kind of like Call of Duty Kill Confirmed. Collecting trophies provides a short-term and long-term buff, uh, the first of which scales with the number of core attributes equipped in last 10 seconds. So the short-term buff is going to be for every uh, weapon damage attribute, 5% weapon damage, every armor attribute, 10% bonus armor, and 5% skill efficiency for the skill tiers. Now those are short-term, so those only last 10 seconds. For the long-term buff, you get... 1% weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency, and 0.1% armor regeneration for 300 seconds, stacking up to 30 times. So that's like 30% weapon damage, 30% skill efficiency, and 3% armor regeneration for 300 seconds. And yeah, 3% armor regeneration is actually quite a bit. So Kill Confirmed is a great talent. This is probably one of the best gear items in the whole entire game for versatile builds. You know, you could use the, this is the most versatile gear piece we got because it has weapon damage, armor, and a skill tier for the core attributes. And of course, for all my mods, I use critical hit damage and just make sure my critical hit chance is up at 60%. So that way, I can have a higher critical hit damage. And no, 152 is not the best critical hit damage for a Negotiator Dilemma build. But with the damage that I got going on with it and everything else, with the armor and everything, I say that this build works really well. So don't knock it with the low critical hit damage because this build is still extremely vicious. You guys check it out before you, um, you know, you know, just push it to the side and not give it a chance. For my pistol, this right here is awesome. I haven't used it too much during the polarity event, but I do use it a lot when I'm just doing regular heroic gameplay. 
got the finisher on it. Swapping from this weapon within 10 seconds of killing an enemy grants 30% critical hit chance and 30% critical hit damage for 15 seconds. So that right there boosts your critical hit chance up to 90% and your critical hit damage to 180 without the bonus, rest of the bonus. So uh, altogether, if you got maxed out bonuses, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage with this build, you'll have 240 critical hit damage and 90% critical hit chance if you're using the pistol and all the everything else the way it's supposed to be used. <clears throat> For my talents, I got the shield and I got the pulse. You guys can switch these around. The shield is not necessary with this build like some of my other builds. I just have it on there because it's just, you know, it's whatever. I don't use it as much as I normally do on some of my other builds. But either way, this build is awesome. I hope you guys like it. It's a Tactical Chaos 1. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the Gunslinger Dilemma build. And I will check you guys on the next video.